Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I finally found the pictures for the Chanel 22 Spring Summer Collection and I'm super excited because besides from Cruise, Spring Summer is usually my favorite collection so I'm eager to show you what I found. I definitely saw some pieces that I think they're gonna be like the eat bags of the season, like the hard bags, but I'm not gonna ramble, let's just get into the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou and I make videos about handbag shoes and traveling. So if you're interested in any of those topics, especially handbags, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. So today in the morning I woke up and I tried to look everywhere so I could find the pictures for this specific video, but I found some of them on Instagram. Some of them places, usually it's like the purse blog, Facebook pages, Instagram, so that sort of thing. So that's where I got the pictures from. This this time, I'm so sorry, but I don't have them organized by category of the bag. So we're gonna see the classic flaps around here, maybe some 19 bags, some seasonal bags. But I definitely saw so many bags that I consider they're gonna be very, very popular. And I don't know, like they're not my style, but I, they know that they're like a lot of people's style. So let's just get right into the video. So let's go straight into the bag that I know that everyone is gonna go crazy about. And it's this hard bag. They have it in several colors and I know that hard bags have been a very crazy trend this year. So I. I see it. I really like it. I like the fact that it has a front pocket. It's not something that I would definitely buy, but let's see because I'm sure that we have more colors and there's a lot of like little versions of it. Like there's a chain and there's like a necklace version. Like I saw some of them that were like different styles of bags, but still heart shaped. Now we do have it in black, but if you're buying a hard bag, I would most definitely buy it in pink. I think that it's like the perfect combo for such a cute bag. So I, I would probably myself go with black but if I were someone who really loves hearts and of course pink color pink is gonna be a lot into this collection so definitely I think that's gonna be like the hot amazing bag now I am really conflicted about this one because the last time that Chanel had a pearl bag I lost my mind I was not able to get my hands on it and I was obsessed with that specific bag still to this day I kind of regret not jumping on it when I had the chance with a personal shopper but Chanel has another pearl bag I have no idea what the price of this it's still not exactly what I was expecting to have from a pearl bag but I think that it's an interesting bag kind of looks a little bit like a DIY thing that you would do from school sort of I wouldn't need to see this in person I do think that they're really cute though I would definitely buy them I don't know about the strap and the like the chain strap looks quite delicate so I don't know if I would go for it but do you guys like them like I know that pearl bags are usually super expensive when it comes to Chanel so I'm really curious about this one because this looks like um, an accessory not like a proper handbag in my opinion but I could be wrong we can see it here in action and it's and I mean I'm not gonna lie it's very very cute so we have a circular I think it's circular bag the white one I could be wrong because of the angle and next to it we have another pearl bag and I think that I do like them I'm gonna see how much they are but I'm kind of liking them so here we have again the hard bag and then next to it we have this little square bag that it has like this stamp I don't know what the stamp is but it looks interesting I am not fan of the vanity case handbag trend just because I feel like they're super super bulky and they still kind of look like you're actually carrying your vanity case with you which there's nothing wrong with that I initially when I bought my Louis Vuitton's BB I swore that I was gonna use it as a bag because it has the option to be used as a bag if you put a strap on it but at the same time I was like yeah not really it's not definitely comfortable you need to open the bag all the way that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy the Louis Vuitton Candace bag because opening the bag it would just like flip open super easy and maybe things can fall out like it's just not the most comfortable bag to be opening and closing. I saw that we're gonna have this seasonal minis and they have like this big chunky oversized chain that I think that it's gonna be very very cute. Very on trend with the 19 bag like what they did with the 19 bag with a chunky chain. It's very very popular right now and it's still gonna be on trend for a while I guess. I don't know for how long but I do feel like it's a cute addition to the bag so I would definitely try to go for them if they're not that expensive. And next to it we have one of my favorite like bags that I've always wanted to have but I never want to buy and I would probably would not spend my money on it because I just know that it's 
not a practical handbag and something that I would not reach out a lot for but it's this Chanel perfume bottle bags super super cute it's like a collector's piece if you love Chanel and collect Chanel it's something that everyone kind of wants but at the same time what do you do with that bag I am not sure so that's why I don't own one and that I assume that it's gonna be super duper expensive so I can see that there's this square bag that has like a wristlet or handle it's interesting and the stamp it's a CC from Chanel and the one next to it looks again like a vanity case with a top handle it's really cute I wish that I could have better pictures of the bags because they actually look really really cute plus both seem to be lambskin oh I have not gotten into that bag but I know that the caramel is gonna come back for this collection I am pretty sure of it I think that I saw the picture but I'm getting ahead of myself I'm just gonna check the next bags and when it comes we're gonna talk about it but we see another style vanity case rectangular bag and then I don't know with the other one but it seems to be like a gold bag again with a top handle and a chain up purple hard bag and another square shaped bag do they have anything else I don't know why so many vanity bowling styling bags I mean the purple one is kind of cute and the blue yeah but it's nothing super different okay this one is kind of cute the bracelets though they are not it I think I saw them in another picture and that I'm not a fan of them I would never 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 ever ever buy them I don't even know those bracelets are just not it but the handbag kind it's kind of cute it looks like a flat bag with compartments spread that's a cute seasonal bag let me add like this is something that I would probably consider buying in another color that's not red the little white bag on the top when Chanel started making them I always thought that they reminded me a little bit of Bottega Veneta so I don't know if that's like the vibe that they're trying to go to I actually think that it's a very cute bag practical I don't know because it seems that it would be a pain to open and close and take things in and out probably but I'm really happy to see white bags on this collection because you guys know that I kind of have a thing for white bags I most definitely don't need another one and I don't plan to buy any but this I are so cute I like especially the ones on the right they look very cute and a very very nice option if you really don't want to spend on a classic flap which, which they have honestly a crazy price tag but you know we love Chanel that's why we kind of stick around but so far right now I'm just looking not really planning to add anything to the card but if anything changes I will let you guys know now this is the other one that I want to talk about and it's like this tote and I kind of think that it's gonna be like the new 19 bag not saying that the 19 bag is gonna go out at all I think the 19 bag is still a super trendy beautiful amazing bag you guys know that I love mine the caramel one and the Oreo that it's right here so I think that the 19 bag is still very much in but this is gonna be like the new wow bag that might get into production for a long period of time because Chanel has not come up really with any good totes and most definitely after the 19 bag I haven't seen anything like wow from Chanel maybe the mini top handle that can be an option but I would say that it didn't definitely didn't make the same impact as the 19 bag so I wonder if this is gonna be the next one maybe yeah probably not the, my favorite one is definitely gonna be the white one and of course a classic black one but the lilac and the pink I mean it's for me it's kind of a risk to buy a tote in those shades of color unless it's definitely something that you would wear on a daily basis and your wardrobe it's pretty much around those shades or at least that you'd use more color in it because for me if I'm gonna go for a colored bag it has to be quite small and probably something for going out with a cute dress or something because I don't see myself being able to use those totes without a entire white outfit something like that okay so here we have a set of black bags I definitely like the first bag I think that that's a very cute classic bag there's something on the chain that I hope that we can see on the next couple of pictures because that's new that's something that I have never seen before the next one I don't know what that is like it's kind of cool but it's definitely not something that I would spend my money on then we have this bucket bag that I think that it's a cute bucket bag it has the detail in the bottom that I think that's a really cute addition and another mini vanity case well it's not that mini this time but it looks like a vanity case the pearl bags black and white I definitely think that I like the one Mm, it'll be really hard to choose between both let me know in the comments like let's put a vote I am gonna go with the one that has the white on the inside and the chain is the black pearls 
See the white toad? The white toad is a vibe. I like it. The black one kind of reminds me of the ones that were released a couple of seasons ago. That they kind of look like trash bags. And I, I remember thinking at first, like, didn't really like them. But then I saw a certain appeal on them. They do look a little bit like trash bags. But it's kind of fashion. I'm still debating on that. So I, that's why I think the white one is prettier. Okay, so from this one, then I'm going to put the picture on the screen so you can see it. I honestly don't like any of them personally. But if I were to choose one, I feel like the pink one with the classic chain and the CC is the prettiest of them all. We see that here we have a seasonal flap. Kind of looks like it's fabric. I'm not sure if it's fabric, but it probably is. And it has this embossed CCs. I think it's a cute casual bag. This is pretty much something that I see someone wearing on a daily basis there's the pink one the black the white and the yellow it's a little bit different and is that one a white backpack but like an it's like a longer business affinity backpack guys i'm telling you that one of them looks like a trash bag this one definitely looks like a trash bag so if you're gonna go with one of these totes uh make sure that it has some type of quilting and it's just not like plain leather now let's go with the veils but one of my main issues that i have with them is that they usually look super washed out this one that is kind of beige i think that it's pretty but it kind of looks like it's already a little bit old so i'm not a fan of it and then the one below that one that it has like the blue handles i just cannot even read the chanel so i don't know if the picture is actually really really this bad or if they just the colors are knotted together i would probably have gone with white or more of an ivory color because this one looks a little bit like grayish so it kind of blends in a little bit mm this classic flap i don't know if it's a seasonal flap it's just a no for me definitely not there's this white duvel and then there's this like little bowling bagging beige that one is kind of cute but then we have this other toad that probably i would need a better picture to have a better judgment about it but so far it's definitely not something that i would buy but you have it there we have a white version of that very very strange bag then a red camera bag that i find super cute this cute little bucket bag this one is sweet with the pink it's a cute cute bag i mean I, I really don't have anything bad to say about it i just think that it's kind of cute the denim one though on the other hand i'm not a fan i think this specific design of denim was just from 22p or cruise and i definitely don't like it to each their own i just don't like denim bags overall this reissue though that's really really pretty i like the combination if i didn't already have a blue classic flap i would probably jump on this one i don't know about the price tag now but when i paid for mine which is that one i paid like around five thousand i'm super happy and i love my blue classic flap so this blue reissue it's very much my style and i really like it i always love the reissue i just have never found any specific one that i like more than a classic flop so if you ask me I, I probably do like classic flops way more than the ratio this is gonna be a no see i told you there's gonna be different versions of the hard bag and this one looks like a chain belt bag it's cute around the coat that would be kind of cute oh we can see that there's a necklace version of that ugly bracelet please i just it reminds me of something that i would have worn when i was a kid i just don't like it and i would never buy it i think that i do now have something kind of against fashion jewelry because my chanel earrings the ones that i have with the pearls the pearls fall off all the time not like it doesn't even matter how many times you fix them the pearls keep falling off so i think that i'm just gonna stay away unless that there's something like really really pretty that i cannot control myself and then i'm gonna buy but other than that i really don't think that i'm gonna buy any more jewelry that it's not like the fine one like i do love the coca crush ring i have one on my wish list especially the thin one with the diamond Diamonds, that's it's beautiful so this 19 bag we only have like a portion of the bag but it's a hard pass on me i mean it's cute but at the same time it's not no absolutely not yeah no what's with these 19 bags i just don't like them at all there's also a gold hard bag and they do have a pocket on the bag like you can see the black one they have the back section of the bag and it's black i don't know if they're taking pre-orders but i'm pretty sure that these hard bags are gonna fly oh the white one is kind of cute on this picture that blue bag though that's it looks like a belt bag kind of yeah it's definitely like a belt bag it's really really pretty so there's two versions of the tote and i'm gonna show you both and i'm gonna explain you why i kind of like the other one kind of don't understand why i like it more but i think there's a reasoning behind it so we have this first one that kind of resembles again a trash bag but it's white so it's better and it does have like the quilting like flat quilted pattern with chanel and gold and there's like coin 
And I don't even know what's the difference, but for some reason I like this other one better in that it has the Chanel in black. Kind of really like this one. This is a veil? No, like why did they have to put the letters in colors? Like why, why, why? They would have gone with gold or white or black. It would be a little bit cleaner, but no, they had to go with colors, of course. The black one is not that bad, but again, they could have gone with all white and it would have been a very, very easy to style bag. When they add the colors, they just make it like way more casual and harder to pair with outfits I just don't like when it has so many colors like I'm not a rainbow person I'm more of a monochromatic type of bag and outfits so this is not it does have a pouch though my Deville did not come with a pouch I think it's... this is new it has to be new this one I know that I said no before and I think it's a fun bag just something that I would probably not buy but it... I do like the netting that it has like on a, on a sailboat I think that's cute like in the colors it's just not something that I would realistically like this is a super extra mini bag and i think that they're really cute i used to not like them but i do like them right now so if you're looking for one in caviar here's one and i think that it's cute more vanity cases and we have it in white purple and pink this is how these are cute i really like the shade of pink more belt bags we have it in the black in the pink and in the white okay this is not 22 spring summer but it's gonna be 22a and i saw this purple color that i think that might be interesting for some of you it's not the current color that is gonna launch this is gonna be around the summer that they're gonna release it but it's this purple and I saw two bags in this color and I just wanted to show you in case you are one of those who can actually pre-order this purple color is gonna come out and I think that it's really really cute I don't know why but I just don't like the classic flaps that have these types of studs I saw once there was a classic flap with this like Chanel charms I found it cute but I just don't feel like it's about that it's gonna retain its value that they may fall off i just don't know it's like an interesting bag but it seems like a little bit unnecessary beige 19 bag of course oh there's gonna be a blue and this is a very cute blue very similar to the one that i have i think this is a jumbo so and it definitely looks like silver hardware pink 19 bag this is a beautiful shade of pink and i really kind of like the way that they reverse the hardware so it has in silver hardware like the cc but this is the maxi i'm pretty sure they're gonna have it also in the small and the medium sizes and here's where i can tell you that we're gonna have caramel because i can see here the mini rectangular colors that they're gonna come up with and they're gonna have black brown pink purple and light blue the caviar bags are gonna be classic flaps are gonna be white light pink pink purple red and light blue i just want to see the caramel bag i've been looking for it since we started the video and i just don't see oh my god i told you guys that this was going to be very expensive i just saw the price of the perfume bottle and it's nineteen thousand three hundred dollars before tax there's a gold bag and this these pictures do have the prices a huge shout out to this instagram account i just came across this account when i was looking for the pictures and it's called lvcc looks they have a ton of pictures from the upcoming collection so huge shout out and many of the pictures are actually from that site and here we have the caramel bag so this is the mini but i'm pretty pretty sure that you're gonna be able to find it on the small medium jumbo classic flaps probably also 19 bags i'm really happy to see it back honestly as my personal opinion i think that this shade of color should just be something that is always in production for chanel because everyone really likes it i consider brown to be a classic so i love the shade and those are all the pictures that i have if i find myself in the position to be able to go to the store i'm gonna definitely go and check the collection out and film it and if i get more pictures i'm gonna let you guys know i would love to know which one was your favorite i would say that mine were probably the mini pearl bags i definitely want to check them out but yeah i think this was it thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed please consider doing so right now and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching i'm gonna leave you two videos right here and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye Oh,